welcome to the crib. Yeah, this is mom and pops. This is where all the good Super Bowl football action goes on right here. Sorry, we had some rap music playing, but I guess it got turned off. <laughs> Come on into the kitchen. My name is Crystal Hoganson, and I'm going to EPCC um, Valverde campus for uh, my associates in electrical engineering, and I am 23 years old. Now this is one of my favorite rooms in the house, because this is where I get my tofu action on in my wok that I never use, because I hardly ever cook, but we do have plenty of food. Oh yeah, look at all that good stuff. We have pudding and milk and pickles. That's like the breakfast of champions. Let me show you the best room in the house though. This is the only room like it in El Paso. Not one, not two, but 1,200 different Barbies. This is my mom's pride and joy, besides me. I had a couple friends that were looking on the internet. They wanted to go travel and just experience things, and so they saw Asia. First they were kind of thrilled by the idea of going to China and teaching English, and then they saw Thailand, and so they went and sent me a bunch of emails and pictures, and I was just fascinated by it. So six months later, I sold everything that I owned, and including cars and furniture and a cat. It was, it was terrifying, actually, living over there knowing that, because I, I knew I wasn't going to stay forever. I, I had this handy idea that I was, but I knew that I wasn't. And so just it was terrifying knowing that I was going to come back and it was just going to be a mess. This is my good side. <laughs> I'm taking a look at my situation and be like, okay, well, we need to prioritize things. Um, you know, keeping track of receipts is nice, but it's better to keep track of transactions first. And so just kind of coordinating a system um, to make sure that everything that needs to get done gets done. That way everything's recorded and I don't have to, have to worry about, you know, hiccups down the line. So, that, I mean, that's, that's something that, that's been on my mind since I met with my financial coach. I set the challenge for myself. I laid out all my debt in envelopes so I can see it and carry it around with me. The biggest challenge is going to be getting rid of all those envelopes. I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled. And I'm going to keep saying that because it seems like a new experience every time that I'm forced to talk to you people. <laughs> what do you mean, you people? <laughs>